Seattle doctors say do not delay on getting vaccinated or getting the booster. Just yesterday, Pfizer announced that data suggests its booster shot protects against the variant. So we know there are a lot of questions surrounding Omicron and COVID-19 boosters. That's why we bring in one of the world's best virologists, Dr. Larry Corey with Fred Hutt. So gracious to be up with us again this morning. All right, Dr. Corey, yesterday Pfizer announced its vaccine booster helps protect against the Omicron variant. Uh, at what point did they just say full vaccination now is three shots and how effective is this against Omicron? Well, full vaccination is three shots. It makes a big difference in your antibody titers to get the boost and uh, we really recommend boosting for everybody. Um, we really don't have um, uh, vaccine efficacy data yet out of South Africa. Omicron starting to spread in the UK, so we we only have sort of estimates. But the the good news is is that um, uh, yes, the variant is spreading, but um, uh, hospitalization rates um, appear to be lower with it than they did with the Delta strain. But when we want to protect, uh, it really is the moment. Boosting is our main form of protection. And this new data coming from Pfizer is based on this preliminary lab study that hasn't been peer reviewed. So we're just, you know, starting to learn about this. Help us understand, uh, Dr. Corey, in terms of the booster helps, you know, bring up those antibody levels. But if you just got fully vaccinated, meaning if you first just got the initial two doses, is that enough at this point uh, to be put protected against Omicron? Does that make sense? Well, you'll have a reasonable amount of immunity to Omicron. Now, it takes, the, it has lots of mutations. It is an incredibly different virus um, than in, than the original strain, or and it's incredibly different from Delta. And it has the, acquired these mutations uh, to some of the antibodies. Having said that, you make many different kinds of antibodies, and you will get protection. Um, how much protection you'll get against getting infected versus um, uh, versus boosting, we think it'll be substantively different. Um, but from protecting against severe disease and hospitalization and all the complications of, of COVID, you know, two doses should do fine. And that's what some preliminary data from um, South Africa is showing. They have a, a reasonable number of people using Pfizer. And Dr. Corey, when do you think we'll see research about Moderna and J&J &J when it comes to defense against Omicron? Yeah. Well, the Moderna vaccine is, I think, essentially the same as Pfizer. In fact, some of the data would suggest that the, some of the tires are a little bit higher. Now, the J&J um, &J vaccine um, is reducing hospitalization. It's the, one of the major vaccines in South Africa and is reducing hospitalization in, in, in South Africa. So um, it may have somewhat less protection uh, against acquiring the disease than the RNA vaccines. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, in terms of learning about Omicron, I know we were just speaking to you last week and you said, you know, another 10 to 12 days before we really can have more information. Uh, it's been a week. So how much more have you learned about Omicron that we didn't know last week? Well, um, we have learned that it is spreading. Um, and that's, you know, not, not great news in your own story here in, in which we see that community spread as sort of seeding is starting to occur. We still don't know how much it will emerge as the, the major variant and will it really replace Delta here or not. Um, <clears throat> but it does say that we need to go back to being careful about using masks indoors, uh, events. We do need to get our vaccination rates up and it does require thinking about more prudence than, than maybe we would have liked as, a, as it relates to mask wearing. As far as, um, you know, other quote countermeasures like other vaccines, um, yes, it's clear that we're starting the Moderna and J&J &J and some of the other companies are starting to make Omicron variants. Um, it will take another 45 days or so to, to make those variants. It will take some time to put it in people's arms to see if the variant actually improves um, immunity significantly more than the ancestral strain that we currently have in the vaccine. We will not really know that till January. Okay. Boy, so many questions, uh, but so little time. Dr. Corey, thanks for being with us. We'll have to leave it there for now. Hopefully you can uh, come back as we learn more about this variant. Thanks so much.